Hi guys, this is Dr. Bailey. I'm a board certified orthodontist and the co-founder of Trayminder. In today's video, I am going to show you how to clean your clear aligners and retainers. If you like this sort of content, don't forget to subscribe to the Trayminder video and also hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified of new videos to come. I usually post every Mondays. And be sure to stick around to the end of the video where I will be revealing my number one tip on keeping your clear aligners and retainers clean. Let's get started. It's important to clean your clear aligners on a daily basis. If you're not cleaning your aligners, it's like taking a shower but putting on dirty clothes. Remember that clear aligners can collect food, a plaque, bacteria, and other debris that you don't want to be in close contact with your teeth. Now in terms of cleaning, there are two main ways to clean. One is a mechanical method and the other one is a soaking method. Now studies have shown that if you only want to do one of them, it's best to do the mechanical method. But I personally do both. I do the mechanical as well as the soaking method. So what's mechanical? It simply just means that you are brushing your aligners. The easiest way to do it is to use your toothbrush. After you're done brushing your teeth, you can use your toothbrush to clean the inside and outsides of your clear aligners. I usually will just take my toothbrush and run my clear aligners or retainers under cool or lukewarm water and that should be enough for the mechanical part of it. Some of my patients like to use their toothbrush with some toothpaste to clean their aligners. The only caveat is that toothpaste can have abrasives and that can scratch the surface of your aligners and retainers. And some people don't mind that, but others do. So if you mind getting some minor surface scratches, then it's best to avoid using toothpaste. After I'm done brushing my clear aligners, I like to soak them. Now, studies have found that when looking for a soaking method, there are three main criteria. The first is that the soaking method must clean or disinfect your clear aligners or retainers. The second is that it should not affect the visibility of your clear aligners, meaning that it shouldn't make your clear aligners become more cloudy or stained or anything like that. The third criteria is that it should not change the shape of your clear aligners or retainers. Of course, that's very important. One research finding has shown that the top three soaking methods that you can use are the Invisalign cleaning crystals, Polydent, which is a denture cleaner, and Listerine. So let's go into the pros and cons of each. The first soaking method uses Invisalign cleaning crystals. The pros of cleaning with the Invisalign cleaning crystals is that it is recommended by Invisalign for Invisalign users. However, I don't use that because number one, it's very expensive. And number two, the crystals, when you open them, it can become messy and with crystal powder getting everywhere on the counter. And just my thought of why I wouldn't use that is that for the price point, I don't find value there because it doesn't make sense for me to buy such cleaning solutions when there are cheaper alternatives available. I mean, you're using it to clean aligners that you are going to throw away in one to two weeks. So in that sense, it doesn't make sense. Now, if you're using it to clean your Vivera retainers or more permanent Essex retainers, that's certainly um, a decent uh, way to clean it if you don't mind spending the money. However, I rather just use that money to buy a pack of floss where I will be cleaning my teeth that I intend to keep for the rest of my life rather than cleaning aligners that I will toss in a few weeks, one or two weeks. The second method to soak your retainers or clear aligners is Polydent. Polydent is a denture cleaner. It usually comes in a little tablet form that you put into a cup of lukewarm water. This is the method that I use personally. I use it because it's convenient and it's cheap and it works. I personally buy the Target brand for those of you in the US. Uh, Target makes a generic version of Polydent. It's extremely affordable. I think it's 50 tablets for $4. 
So I don't hesitate to use a new tablet on a daily basis. The third method is using Listerine to help clean your clear aligners or silkier clear aligners after you have brushed them. Uh, Listerine has the benefit of having a good disinfection because of the higher alcohol content. However, I don't use it myself because I fear that for my clear retainers that I intend on keeping for a long time, it may, the alcohol content may dry out the clear aligners or retainers, making it more brittle. I don't have research findings for that, but that's just my personal philosophy. So to summarize, what I do on a daily basis is that I brush my clear aligners and retainers after I wear them, and then I soak them in the Polyden or Target brand denture cleaner. On a weekly basis, I like to give my clear aligners and retainers a deep clean. I use the Sonicare toothbrush. I also have the Oral-B spin brush. You can use both of them to deep clean your clear aligners and retainers. Simply just run it under cold water or lukewarm water with your retainers. And especially for those of you with clear aligners, with attachments and bite ramps, it's really nice for the, elect for the bristles of your electric toothbrush to get into the nooks and crannies of those attachment sites and bite ramp sites so that we can spin out those, uh, the debris and the food and the bacteria. So that's what I like to do on a weekly basis. And you know, if you're using an electric toothbrush on a daily basis anyway, you can use it after you're done brushing your teeth to clean your aligners that way. That will give them an extra good cleaning. Some of my patients tell me that they get mineral deposits. Those are the white deposits that are stuck on their retainers and clear aligners. Now, some people's saliva has a higher mineral content and the calcium and phosphates from our saliva, when combined with plaque, can calcify the plaque and thereby depositing those uh, tartar buildups on our clear aligners. So it's not fun to think about, but if that happens, then what you can do is you can use an ultrasonic cleaner, like a jewelry cleaner. Uh, go ahead and put some vinegar, half vinegar, half water in a Ziploc bag. Drop your retainers or clear aligners into that zip up uh, baggie and make sure to fill your ultrasonic cleaner with water and drop that bag into your ultrasonic cleaner and let it vibrate for about five minutes or so. You might need a little bit longer if it's if there are a lot of deposits. You may also want to, after soaking and vibrating for about five minutes, take it out, brush your retainers, drop it back in, and uh, use the ultrasonic cleaner for another five to 10 minutes and then rinse it off. So that's a very good, effective way to do it. If you don't have an ultrasonic cleaner, no worries. If you have a sonic hair toothbrush, that's similar. You can fill a bowl up with vinegar and water and use your sonic, uh, sonic hair toothbrush to brush your aligners uh, or retainers and that can give you similar results. And be sure to rinse it out nicely afterwards. And now the moment you've been waiting for, my number one tip on how to keep your clear aligners and retainers clean. My tip is to always get into the habit of rinsing your clear aligners and retainers off with water at a minimum every time after you remove them from your mouth. As I have alluded to earlier, our saliva contains minerals of calcium and phosphate. And when you let your saliva dry on your retainers and clear aligners, pretty soon you will start to notice a white deposit. Once that forms, it's very difficult to clean or to remove it even with vigorous brushing. So when that happens, be sure to use the vinegar and water technique that I had talked about earlier. Also your orthodontist will have a professional strength tartar and stain remover that they can use with their ultrasonic cleaner to clean your retainers. 
All right, well, those are my tips for how to clean your clear aligners on a daily and weekly basis. I hope that you have found this video to be helpful. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. This is Dr. Bailey and I'll see you next time. Bye. Clear liners as well as her other. Some of my patients enjoy, some of my patients. Now, the first, the first cleaning soaking, the first soap, brushing them, uh, it, it won't remove the, the it's important to clean. <laughs>